Hey guys, welcome to Comic Basic Lists, where we try to unravel everything we know about comic books in 10 minutes or less. Today's list, the top 10 fighters of the DC Universe. Before we begin, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button just below this video. Your subscription will ensure that you never miss a video as they become available. Before we begin, know that this list doesn't include Batman. And why, you may ask? Simply because he's just a little too obvious for my liking. If this question were surveyed to 100 people on Family Feud, Steve Harvey would certainly be telling us that Batman is the top answer. So instead, I'm choosing to focus on those not as obvious. Yeah, as you read, there may be one or two or even three that you might have guessed, but that's because they have to be there. Anyways, without further ado, here are those 10 best fighters in DC. Boxing, Judo, Muay Thai, and Hapkido. And the list goes on and on and on. Black Canary is not only one of the best fighters in DC Comics, she's also one of the most proficient. She's gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the deadliest villains in existence, Bane, Black Adam, Harley Quinn, and more, and still lives to tell the tale. Further to that, it probably doesn't hurt that Diana Lance has been trained by the who's who of DC women. Wildcat, Lady Shiva, and Wonder Woman, just to name a few. And if she suddenly feels herself on the not-so-good end of a battle, all she has to do is unleash her canary cry and watch as her opponents writhe in pain. The most famous of all the Robins, Dick Grayson is deserving of this list. Dick Grayson spent his childhood in a manner that most children could only dream of. He was groomed, trained, taught, and mentored by none other than Batman himself, Bruce Wayne. While under Bruce's care, he learned kendo, jeet kune do, jujitsu, boxing, and enough other styles to do a whole other top ten. When coupled with the fact that he spent his young years as a part of the aerialistic, acrobatic act that flying Graysons, Dick Grayson has become a literal representation of every form of the word ass-kicking. Eventually, Dick left the watchful eye of Batman and set out on his own as Nightwing. And it was here as Nightwing that his abilities and styles were finally allowed to manifest the way that he wanted them to. What happens when you're the grandson of one of the oldest and most fierce fighters ever to grace the pages of a DC comic? What happens when that same person is the son of a person capable of inflicting unheard of pain with just a flick of a finger? Now what happens when that same individual has an attitude that makes him believe he's the best at what he does? I'll tell you what happens. Damian Wayne happens. The grandson to Ra's al Ghul and the son to Batman, Damian Wayne was brought up in a manner that very few are ever brought up in. Trained by Ghul from a young age and shaped by Batman, Damian Wayne, no matter his age, is one of the best fighters in DC Comics. He's bold, brash, and unafraid of anything. It's this, more than his pure fighting abilities, that makes him such a dangerous adversary. Widely regarded as one of, if not the best assassin for hire, David Kane is one of the best fighters in DC Comics. As it goes, David Kane is responsible for teaching and training a very young Bruce Wayne. Of course, the best form of flattery is for the student to outperform the teacher, and that's exactly what happened with David Kane. If that doesn't speak to his credibility as a fighter, I'm not sure anything else I say will. David Kane is proficient in hundreds of martial art forms, weapons of all kinds, espionage, and of course explosives. Kane is responsible for giving DC arguably its best assassin in his daughter, Cassandra Kane. When a group called the League of Assassins kidnaps you and forces you to wear a tiger mask, you know that you must be a pretty good fighter. At a young age, Ben Turner realized that he had an uncontrollable rage within. Granted, this rage stemmed from the fact that he watched as his parents were killed, but a rage nonetheless. Afraid of what he might do, Ben turned to martial arts as a way to control it. Unfortunately, his sensei at the time only wanted to use him for his own bidding. Eventually, however, he would finally find and train under a proper sensei. Seeing the power he possessed, the League of Assassins came knocking, gave him a mask, and the rest, as they say, is history. Don't let the fact that he possesses no superpowers fool you. The Bronze Tiger is one of the best fighters in DC Comics, and is said to be on par with the likes of Lady Shiva. Speaking of which, not only is Lady Shiva a martial arts grandmaster, but she's a highly sought after assassin who prefers to kill her opponents with her bare hands. Believing that Richard Dragon was responsible for the murder of her sister, Lady Shiva trained to become someone capable of defeating him. While training, she becomes fully aware that she is a martial arts prodigy who is able to learn styles and forms quickly. With an arsenal of fighting styles under her, she begins to go by the name Lady Shiva. What makes her so dangerous is that she is able to read and react to the body language of her enemies. That is, she can read body language with such accuracy that she is able to react before they do anything. If that doesn't impress you, know this. 
Batman has stated that she may well be the best fighter alive. The same sensei who took in a young and lost bronze tiger took in the teenage thief Richard Dragon. For seven years, the two learned and absorbed everything their sensei taught, and when he felt like there was no more to teach, he walked away leaving Dragon to figure out this thing called life. Like so many others on this list, Richard Dragon possesses no real superpowers. Instead, he prefers to use what he's been given. This of course includes martial arts, athleticism, his mind, and his patience. Above that, when he touches the jade pennant that was given to him by his sensei, it's said that his spirit and body become near unbreakable. Oh, and it doesn't hurt that he taught most of the fighters on this list. Let's put it this way. The man knows every form of martial arts that's been developed up until the 30th century. More than that, he's developed his own form of fighting simply called Super Karate. If this doesn't sound awesome, remember one thing. He applied to and was accepted into the Legion of Superheroes without possessing a single superpower. And how did he do this? He stood toe to toe with Superboy and lived to tell the tale. Impressive? To say the least. The daughter of the aforementioned David Kane, Cassandra Kane, is, as David has admitted, his greatest creation. And get this, she isn't only the daughter of David Kane, she's also the daughter of Lady Shiva. While just a girl, Cassandra was trained by her father in isolation. Further to that, during this time he kept her away from spoken language. He did this so she would learn how to read and understand the people around her through their motions. This form of training gave her near superhuman body reading abilities. When just 8 years old, David took out Cassandra on a mission. While on the mission, she was to carry out her first assassination. She did exactly what she was told and ripped the man's throat out. Tragically, due to her impressive body reading ability, she watched and felt in horror as he died. This event changed Cassandra and she fled from her father. At 8 years old, Cassandra was able to rip the man's throat out. Now as an adult, imagine what she's capable of. The son of Oliver Queen, Connor Hawk, belongs on this list, and I'll tell you why. Raised by his mother, Connor grew up with an explosive and unfortunate temper. As a means to curb his temper, his mother sent him to the same monastery that his father, Oliver, once attended. This, of course, was the Ashram Monastery in the Napa Valley. While there, he fell under the tutelage of the same monk who helped his father, Master Jensen. Master Jensen instructed him in Zen Buddhism, Aikido, and archery. Even though Connor grew more patient as he aged, Jensen knew that he was destined to follow in Oliver's footsteps. Eventually, Oliver made his way back to Ashram and learned that Connor was his son. Not only is Connor one of the best fighters in DC, he also possesses a healing factor, rarely becomes physically tired, has a pain tolerance that would make contortionists jealous, and performs at peak human levels. And that's it, that's all. The 10 best fighters in DC Comics. Who makes your list? Did I miss someone? Should I not have included someone? Tell me below in the comments. Now before you go, as always, I'm going to ask you three simple things. First, if you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button down below. It really helps this channel grow. Two, if you really enjoyed this video, hit that share button and let someone else enjoy it too. And three, if you do go, and I don't want you to, but if you do, head over to our website, comicbasics.com, where you'll find more information than we can put into any of these videos. Thanks. We'll check you next time, guys.